it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Go ahead to have you here as usual. Today is um, a mess on my countertop where you decide you got to change it up because I've had um, several days of just crappy work, like nothing was working. And sometimes instead of repeating yourself over and over when things aren't working out, um, changing it up, changing gears, doing something new and completely different um, kind of breaks the curse. That was definitely the case today. Uh, come see my mess. We'll get started. Let me get you down. Hey guys, welcome to my mess. I had a bloom going. The My studio is freezing cold. My paints are thick. I'm getting wonky cells. I'm just having all kinds of problems like the last two weeks. The painting gods have not been smelling my way. And I changed my mind halfway through a bloom and made a giant mess. And that's what you're staring at. And so I thought, change gears. Don't be insane and keep trying the same thing over and over again. Do something else. So I'm going to do um, a flip cup. And there's a ton of paint on there. And I'm going to get a big old clear. I think this is like a 15 ounce cup, one of these. And we're just going to set it. I got plenty of paint down. So I should, one cup should do the trick. Can you see if I stick it right there? I can't really tell. Maybe over here, if I stick it there. Can you see it? Yeah. So I'll go right there. Throw in another glove. And we're just going to layer a cup. Do Shelly our flip cup. See what happens. So usually they're just in the reverse order of a bloom. So you start off with your cell activator first, which I have. Amsterdam Gold Deep. Yeah, I might as well kill it off. I'm going to go with that first. I also have some um, lamp black that I might throw in. And then we're going to do, this is titanium white as a color. So I'm going to put that in. I might as well kill this off too. So there's barely, maybe like an ounce, these are three ounce cups. There's barely an ounce and a half of paint because these are less than half full. Let's do teal next. That's my opaque color. And I'm going to mix things up by adding, just because I want some drama, I'm going to add some CA right here on top of that teal. So that's my Lamb Black Cell Activator. And then we'll do the Ultramarine Violet. Fill that off. And then some, now we'll end with that one. We'll do Cobalt Blue. And end it with some Da Vinci's Payne's Gray. And just to like kill off all my cups, I'm just going to, this. you don't have to do this part. I'm just killing off the little bit of my Liam Black Cell Activator just to kill off the cup. I'm not one to save. I usually paint until I run out of colors. So, uh... Maybe six ounces of paint there. I'll put that right there for a second. Let everything run down. Doesn't look like the uh, gold has gotten anywhere. Looks like it's all stuck, like stuck up at the top. I do kind of like being able to see inside. Can I see inside? Let's see. Oh, 
I'll put a little pattern through it. Looks all black and gold. That's interesting. I normally don't torch house paint. This is just a torch because my PPG Multi Pro had a ton of bubbles and I see a ton of bubbles here. This isn't really going to make cells or anything. Let me look at this. Some cool cells. Let's just open it up a little bit. Let's give this a tilt. That little bit come off. I'm just stretching things out before I settle on a composition. I love the uh, gold outlining, the paint's gray, and the one line. I'm gonna let that come off right there. I really don't like those white cells. I'm gonna leave them be for a second. Or I might stretch those back the other way, actually, because they're mixed with the gold. <laughs> That's kind of funkadoric, right? Oh, I'm out of balance here. Hold on. Let me spin this a little bit. Well, I guess if I'm going to spin, I'm going to have to spin, like spin, spin. So let's go put some more to the paint. Over here. We'll start there, and then we'll do the other side down here. I'm just kind of stopping it early to save paint um, for other parts. I need a skewer to pop some bubbles. Kind of liking it though. Kind of grooving on it. Let's put the weight of the paint this way now. So it needs to go down this way and this way because I do want to save some of this stuff because as it's opening up, the cells are popping up. This was, I think, um, at PORCON my favorite class to teach. We had some uh, amazing, amazing results out of that class. All of the classes, really. Um, I just think me and the students were extra excited in that class. All right. Still kind of digging it. too fast just seeing how it's opening up yeah I'm losing my my cool little sand cells at my end so let me bring it over this way again uh, 
All right. Yeah, I'm gonna keep spinning. I wish this part would open up more and reveal more of the teal. Still hollow cool. And one of my favorite bits, like I see this blue. I don't know if the blue. So if I look at it where the orientation is for me, where this is the bottom and that's the top of like the mountain or whatever in the sky. And then like this body of water with rocks. That's one orientation. And if that's the orientation, well, I still want to see more teal pop up in there. And then if I flip it, so it's like this. So now you see the orientation I was just talking about. Or it's nighttime and it's at the beach and you got some rocks and sand and and like a little water thing coming in here. Um, it could go either way for sure. I think I'm still going to tilt this way though to stretch this part out. Yeah. Like I like this part up here so much it can almost stay. Except that violet doesn't go with the rest of the painting, but. See, I kind of like that little spot of um, teal on the end, too. It would be sad to lose it if it goes off. The, um, the paint's gray mixed with the cobalt teal. It's just, it's phenomenal. So definitely need to like take off some of this. That end, I think, gets to live. Um, like if I don't, if this doesn't come off or I run out of paint, that can stay. I do want to take this stuff off. Yeah. Hard spin. there this is hella cool y'all I'm glad I listened to the karma gods and you know so if it's not working out do something else happy with the tops up there even with the bikini corners don't like these bikini corners at all cells are getting wonky that's a fine by me and I still want to tilt that way. You know what it is, is when I get you guys down for a close up, if this works out, it's the line work um, everywhere. Even with the wonky cells are all stretched out. They all have like, there's lines everywhere, like thin lines that I adore. So yeah, I'm just, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I wanted to keep that one little spot of teal on the canvas, but we'll see. So getting low on paint now, the things are moving much slower. So, but I'm going to stand here and wait. I think it's going to be worth the wait to get the composition just so. And then I'll be able to, that corner over here where I'm just wiggling it, that should come off. Um, and then the other thing I don't like, let me put it down to show you what I'm trying to do. Besides losing these two corners, like this little loop-de-loop, -loop, I'm not a fan. Even if this has to stay and I don't get any more teal, it just looks like clouds and I can live with it. I can't, this, this thing is just messing up my eyeball. And I don't like it. So, try to get as much paint off or close to that edge 
as I can. And it looks like I'm getting pretty close, right? All right. Oh my gosh. And the other end of the canvas over here has stretched out beautifully. Like really, really pretty. Um, where's my stoppers? They're way over there. Okay, hold on. And oh my gosh, I don't want to lose any. The, the sky thing up here is phenomenal too. Why don't I do these more often? What is wrong with me? I forgot how, how much I liked um, deconstructing stuff or doing these flip cups. I, when, the, um, when Shelly's class first came out, it's like all I did was these. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm adoring this painting. Yep, I'm going to go for these, these two corners and my little loop-de-loop -loop that I don't like at that one end. Wish me luck. Hard spin. Yep, getting low on paint. So close though. I'm just going to keep going, guys. Oh my gosh, the sky up there. Got a little corner right here. I definitely see the orientation like this. Um, even though I spun super, super hard, um, not that much paint came off. Maybe I can cheat and put some paint right there. And then what do I do about my purple corner? Take some paint. Or do I just leave that little corner? Oh no, and I'm down to like 10% battery. <laughs> I would be bummed out if the camera died uh, in the middle of this one because I love it so much. Hit cancel. Yeah, I'm going to try for two more spins. Be greedy. Be greedy, greedy pants. This is, uh, I think it's beautiful though. I do. Oh, I'm so close. Let me see. What do I have, like a half an inch? Am I hurting anything by spinning? No, it's still hella cool. One more. One more should do it. Go off. Go swimming. Jump off. Oh, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to grab some Payne's Gray from under the canvas somewhere. Maybe over here where it's dripping down. Where's that corner? Come here, you. Bye. Bye. Violet, you were beautiful. I really love you, but we'll use you in another painting. Because I, I need... Oh, ta-da! I love this. Love, love, love it. I'm all excited, all happy. Um... I know it's a, it reminds me of my first couple of deconstructed blooms where I would just tilt them so hard and so much that um, they would shred. And this has elements of that. Um, the colors are just phenomenal. I hope you guys like this. Um, I'm going to clean up real quick, get you down before my phone dies for sure. Hold on one sec. <laughs> okay, guys, here's a flyover of the... Uh, what results I, I gotta show you like I slid my table all the way to the corner of the studio just so there wouldn't be too much of a reflection on here uh I'm I'm totally taken with this let me get you down to show you like what I was talking about 
with the line work most of it is the gold or you got gold sheen and just like all these little lines everywhere that I love and then like this whole part here with the combo of the colors um, is spectacular I see a bubble I gotta pop where is it right there I'll get you my pretty um, and then all of that too look at the sparkle it looks silver I'm not even real sure what that is but it's silver and I don't know why and then down here in the blue black that's gold and then like the teal I don't even mind the gray cells now or the gray part you know it to me this is just um I got to give it like a weather it's like the power of nature that's what I'm calling this one for sure um I love everything about it I am going to take my little skewer here and I know let's see if I can do it with one hand don't drop the skewer just like soften up a couple lines like this guy right here you can just kind of whoa I really um tilted the, the hell out of this because there's no paint left um oh my gosh all of that all of those lines are all silver you see it isn't paint amazing it's just amazing I love the top too I'm sorry I lost that other little section and what happened my that was weird my flash just went out all by itself without me telling it to anyway I'm rambling I'm excited what can I say look look at the colors this one I think is going to dry oh now it came back on really well because like I said it's been tilted and spun within an inch of its life and uh, I'm digging it see you in a bit so sorry guys this video uh, the creation video part is mm, like four or five weeks old and I forgot to film the dry results and then I had a student at my studio in person and she saw it and bought it and I was like sure take it home and we gave it a quick spray varnish and off she went and then <laughs> my phone was filling up with videos and I found the creation part which I thought was so great uh, I had felt like I had to post it it dried as is the way you saw it um, anything with the Shelly Yard technique it really doesn't change colors at all so um, how it looked wet was how it looked dry sorry about that um i hope you enjoyed the creation part of it though and thanks for watching and tuning in please like share and subscribe and all the other good jazz and uh i'll see you guys soon take care peace out